What up guys, Real Touch Gmail here, back with another Game Maker tutorial. Today I will be starting a series on how to make a side scroller shooter. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So what I've done is I've just created our player, which is this helicopter, and uh, the missile that will we will be able to shoot at our enemies. So I went ahead and made him an object, and today we will probably just be going with movement and shooting, if I have enough time. So I'm going to be doing the same movement I do in pretty much all my tutorials. And if you don't know what that is, go ahead and check the link uh, below in the description. And um, that will bring you to a tutorial there. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video, go ahead and put in all the uh, movement, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. And what I have done is just pretty much created simple movement. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like, uh, and you can see it goes back and forth. And you see how the uh, the helicopter kind of rotates a little bit. Uh, so when I go back, it kind of goes back and forward. I just kind of put in the helicopter effect there that a, a real helicopter would have. Um, just by putting, if it goes right, then it'll go to the sprite index forward. And in up here, I just did um, I just cropped it forward and backward. And then if you key release the right, then it'll just go back to the normal player. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and go with the shooting. Now we're going to have it that you can't just shoot as much as you want. There's actually a timer on which you can shoot. So what we're going to do is in the create event of the player, we're going to say can shoot equals true. Okay. Now what this is going to do is uh, say that yes, you can shoot. So in the step event, what we're going to do, we're going to say if keyboard uh, check press VK space, we'll say, uh, the double anchorman sign uh, can shoot equals true. Um, so now if that equals true, it's going to uh, instance create uh, x comma y comma obj. Uh, bullet um, and then it's gonna set can shoot to equal false yep false and alarm zero to equal now this is how long you want the shoot delay to be so 30 steps is one second so I'm gonna say uh, 15 so half a second so there we go so now in alarm zero we set can shoot equal true and let's go ahead and create the object bullet and for the obj bullet in the create event we're just going to go ahead and set h speed t equal 10 all right so now what that's going to do is it's just going to uh, when it's created it's just going to be going to the right and we set a delay for the shooting so let's go ahead and test it out now. Uh, let's see, ch -ch -ch, OBJ bullet. Um, oh yeah, that's one thing I hate about HTML. You need to press OK for it to update. Uh, for it to update the name of, of what you set it for. So if we go ahead and try this again. So you can see, I, I'm pressing my spacebar very fast, and it's only bringing out this limited uh, supply. Now you see, it's kind of um, coming out of the uh, like you don't really want this. It's coming out of like the uh, the pilots, the cockpit of the of the um, helicopter, and we don't really want that. We kind of want it to come from the bottom because that's where missiles are stored. So what we can do here is in the step event. Uh, where it says x comma y in the comma y we could do like plus 15 that might be enough so that's going to create it 15 pixels down from the origin of the sprite or the object okay so see that's a lot lower we can probably tweak that some more but that's a lot lower so yeah I, I hope you guys like this tutorial of the part one um, in later tutorials we'll probably put a particle system on the uh, missile 
so that it looks like uh, like smokiness and fires coming out of the back and um, we'll start creating enemies and uh, you know score systems and all that so yeah um, go ahead and subscribe leave a like if you like this video go ahead and um, subscribe <laughs> and uh, yeah I guess I will see you guys next time